I have a confession to make. Last week I put out a video where I mentioned that YouTube wants your videos to be no louder than minus 14 luffs or else they'll normalize your audio which can make it sound a little weird. That video is linked below. And I showed you how to set your target loudness level to minus 14 luffs so you can monitor your loudness on the Fairlight page in DaVinci Resolve. But I didn't give you the whole story. So today I'm gonna show you step by step how to set your target loudness level, how to monitor your loudness in the loudness meter on the Fairlight page, and how the automation feature on the Fairlight page can give you a really good look at how loud your audio is. Let's get started. Okay, the first step you need to take is setting your target loudness level. This is something that you should do at the beginning of every project. So what we're going to do is head into our project settings. Go down to the Fairlight menu, and since this is for YouTube, we're going to set our target loudness level to minus 14 luffs. Next, you're going to edit your video. You even want to edit your audio. Don't worry about loudness yet. Just make sure you've got a good mix between your dialogue, sound effects, foley, and music. After that, we're going to head into the Fairlight page and we're going to make sure that our meters are open. Now, this far right meter over here is your loudness meter. You'll see that it goes all the way from plus 9 down to minus 15. And that's luffs, not decibels. Now, on this loudness meter, 0 represents whatever our target loudness level is. In this case, it's minus 14 luffs. So the goal is to make sure that our loudness is as close to 0 as possible on the meter without going over. YouTube actually says we should aim for minus 3 or so, so that's what we're going to do. Now, as I play this back, you'll see that there are some numbers popping up to the right of the meter. The first number is short, which is a constantly changing number that tells you how far above or below the target loudness level you are at any given time. Below that is short max, which tells you how far above or below your target loudness level the loudest point of your video is. Next is range, which is a measure of your quietest peak to your loudest peak. And below that is integrated, which gives you the overall loudness of your video in relation to your target loudness level. This is the number that we want to keep around minus three. And since we already have a good mix, we can just use our main slider to make our video louder or quieter until we hit that target loudness level. Now, I told you before that the automation tool can really help you dial in your loudness. Let's look at how to do that. First, click the automation button, which looks like a audio wave with a couple keyframes. Next, open up your index, then make sure that you're in the tracks menu in your editing index. And what we want to do is make our main track visible on the timeline. So just click the eyeball next to your main, then come over to your timeline and expand your main track until you see your loudness history options appear. Make sure that integrated is selected and turn on the loudness history. Now, as you play your video, you can see the integrated loudness level. Just adjust your main track's volume accordingly so you're below that zero line and you're good to go. One last bonus tip. If you want to start your loudness reading over at any point, just pause your video, click reset on your loudness meter, click start on your loudness meter, and then play your video again. I typically do this every time I make an adjustment. That automation tool can really help you dial in your loudness. If you wanna see some other cool stuff the Fairlight page has to offer, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that will make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.